As we all know, Dr. Boyce Watkins and Corey Holcomb have had somewhat of a beef, and this beef has been instigated by Dr. Boyce Watkins himself. Now that is interesting since Corey Holcomb is known as a legendary comedian in an internet roast machine. You would think that it is him instigating these beefs, but in this case, it is not. It is the PhD in finance himself, Dr. Boyce Watkins, who is trying to go toe to toe with the legendary comedian like Corey Holcomb. Imagine seeing somebody like Dave Ramsey or, you know, one of these white financial experts trying to make a beef with a comedian in the white community. Only in black America can you get something so foolish. But anyways, a good YouTuber and a person I really respect here, Willie D, actually brought these two guys together. And I want to tell a personal story about Willie D. Story time music! About two years ago, um, I made a video about Willie D in response to Kevin Samuels. And I felt that in the, the video that Willie D made, um, that Willie D might have been unfair to Kevin. And let me tell you how much of a stand-up guy Willie D is. I barely use Facebook. Willie D contacted me on Facebook. He then called me. We talked. Um, I removed the video after he explained what he really meant. And let me just tell you this, right? Willie D is a really stand-up guy in the YouTube community. I want everybody to know that, right? He's a guy that, although he's on social media, he's not out here trying to, you know, instigate beefs and things like that. If he calls you, he handles it offline. And so when he brought these guys on the internet, he didn't do it on his live stream for himself. He was trying to actually squash this beef behind the scenes, but we're gonna find out why it came to the point of him bringing it onto his live stream. But I'm going to let Willie D tell the story of how Corey Holcomb and this whole Boyce Watkins beef started. This is a special edition of Willie D Live. Corey Holcomb and Dr. Boyce Watkins will be joining us shortly. But first, I want to bring you guys up to speed on how we got here and what's going on. About a month ago, I posted a picture and video to Instagram of Corey giving his condolences to DC Young Fly in the wake of the sudden passing of his children's mother, Jackie O. Then Corey and textbook Corey Holcomb style added, I wish my baby mama would die. As one might surmise, those comments went viral. As cold blooded as those words were, I can tell you that about 60 to 70 percent of the people who was on my Instagram supported Corey's comments, giving him a pass as a comedian. Boyce Watkins was not one of those people. In fact, Boyce went into the comments and wrote, I met Corey in person, didn't like him. I saw that comment and I thought about deleting it but I decided not to for two reasons. One, I try not to censor people on my platforms, especially my friends, which Boyce Watkins is. But Corey is also a good friend of mine. And Boyce, like Corey, is very intelligent. This is why I decided to keep the post there because I know that uh, Boyce, you know, Boyce thinks things through usually, you know, like, so if, if Boyce was to post something like that about Corey Holcomb, I felt like he wanted to smoke and, you know, Corey came with the smoke vehemently, you know, and, but here's the thing. I'm in the middle of all this because the squabble started on my platform. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let Dr. Boyce Watkins give his explanation. Again, you're gonna find out that Willie D is gonna hold Boyce Watkins accountable for him starting this whole thing. And um, I'm gonna come back and give some commentary. Then we'll go to Corey Holcomb's part. But my point is that I know both of you brothers and there's something good about both of y'all that made me befriend y'all. In fact, I, if I'm not mistaken, I probably reached out to both of y'all. That's how we became friends. You did? Cause I saw something in each of y'all that I thought was cool as hell. And 
and we became friends. And I'm I'm just as close to, to, to both of y'all. Uh, I'm just as close to Corey as, as I am the boys. And so this is, it really hurt me that both of, that y'all was going at it. Even though I could have nipped it in the bud and, and deleted that message, I gave my reasons for why I didn't. But this is what I want to know. So boys, you kicked it off with your comments. What, what I want to know is, what did you think was going to happen if you... <laughs> <laughs> what did no. you think was going to happen dropping that comment about about Corey? And on top of that, you know, you, you, you said you didn't like him, but I also know that you are a fan of Corey Hope. Like, what was going on in your mind? It was it was mixed feelings, man. You know, um, I you know I, I'll start from the beginning and say, you know, uh, it sounds contradictory to say this, but but Corey's one of my favorite comedians, actually. You know, I, I like I like the honesty. You know what I mean? And I think that uh, I think that particular comment triggered me a little bit because I'm I'm very protective of black women in general. You know, I I think that uh, I feel like there's a lot of guys on the online, man, that just say things, man, that, you know, are, are, are not helpful to women and children, man. And I think that that definitely triggered me. And uh, and I have to be 100% honest and say that, you know, when I did, the time that I did meet Corey, I, I, I can't say I got good energy, uh, you know, but he, you know, he's right. You know, uh, I, did, I didn't say anything about it at the time. And I think that over time, it's allowed me to kind of process who I am. Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a fighter, you know what I mean? Like I do that, and uh, and and you you've been you've been caught in the middle of of of, of other times, man. Where you know, like uh, like when I went out to Houston, and you would tell me we were talking about Kwame Brown and all that stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, and so it's a mix, man. It's like sometimes you know you're supposed to keep your mouth shut and not say everything, but then sometimes you just say it. And uh, and what happens is that it can sound like you have one feeling about a person when it's re- usually mixed. You know, there's not a single person that I can think of that I even people I admire the most. I, I admire Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X more than anybody else. But if if you was asked me to really tell the truth about what I think about them, I could I could find negative things to say, right? So it, it sounds contradictory to people for me to say Corey's one of my favorite comedians. Uh, when I found out he, you and him were such good friends, uh, that made me respect uh, him more because because I uh, respect you, and also it may it led me to accept the fact that I probably misjudged him based on that one interaction and you know for that for that i do apologize because i don't think that was appropriate now this is interesting dr boyce in my honest opinion is um is very phony and he's fake okay uh and i'm not trying to take away from willie d's efforts but again he says but the guy in person never liked him but at the same time he's my favorite comedian what like but Corey holcomb talks about something different when he met boyce boyce was like all on this you know like hey man i'm glad to see you all this other stuff but that's how Boyce is, all right? People that I know that know Boyce, Boyce is very, in my honest opinion, what people believe is two-faced, okay? And Boyce says that he loves black women so much, right? He wants to protect black women. Let me give you something from a woman who worked for, for Dr. Boyce, which is Michi X. Since Dr. Boyce likes black women so much, let's see how she feels about Boyce Watkins. Let's get into the, the thing that I came here to talk about. <laughs> Dr. Fucking Watkins. So I don't know how many of you guys know this, but Dr. Watkins um, just had his Instagram and his Facebook banned. They gone. His Facebook page is gone. His Instagram page is gone. And I just want to say karma. I'm just going to say karma. That's, that's the word for the day. Karma. <laughs> right? So... I think that this is very poetic justice. I think that it is very fitting that Dr. Watkins is in this situation. I had some of you stupid people come over to my platform on Instagram and even here. Y'all were saying shit like, um, oh, Michi falls out with everybody. Dr. Watkins, Vicki Dillard. She's the problem. Some of y'all sound so stupid. Like, who doesn't know that Do you don't know by now that Dr. Watkins has been running around here stealing from black women their ideas? He stole my domain. And 
All of these things that he does, he owes plenty of women money and he wouldn't pay them. These are all black women, right? And this is out here everywhere, okay? He's been doing this shit since Yvette Cardell and Cynthia G. Women have been calling him on the shit that he does and not paying them and things of that nature. I just happen to be the woman that put my foot on his neck. I'm just the woman that happened to stand up to him. And it's amazing how y'all come over here and tell me that I'm the problem. I stood up for myself and all those other women because he was trying to shit on everybody. He sat on um, Tasha K. I thought it was real interesting about two weeks ago um, when I saw it. I don't know how long ago it was. But I think it was about two weeks ago when they filmed it. That's when I saw it. Um, and he was sitting up there talking about how he cares so much about black women. And she asked him about me, right? And he said, you know, if Michi wanted to call me, I would have a conversation with her. Some people just can't work together. You're right. I would never work with you. You motherfucking, you, you, you a scantless user. Right. I would never work with you. So you could get that. You could take that off your lips. Right. You're damn sure right about that. I would never work with you again. Um, but it was just amazing how he was like, well, Michi wanted to call me. I called you, Dr. Watkins. I did. I called you a bunch of times. I even called you on live in front of my audience just to show them that I was calling you. I text you and everything else. You wouldn't respond, sir. And the crazy thing is, as far as much as y'all act like I'm causing a problem with Dr. Watkins, do you know that just a year ago, he just renewed my domain. So he's not willing to give it up. The reason you're going to the real MichiX.com and not MichiX.com is because he stole my domain. Now, guys, this is MichiX, very popular here in the black YouTube community. She worked for Dr. Boyce Watkins for years, and there's been many women leveraging these things about Dr. Boyce Watkins. As she said, Yvette Carnell, as she's also said, Cynthia G, Paris Milan. These are all ladies that Boyce Watkins fell out with for a fact for the fact that he doesn't want to pay anybody. All right. This is true. Just look at his setup and you would find that out. And I find it interesting that Boyce Watkins went after Corey Holcomb for his own commentary about his baby mama, but he's protecting black women so much. But Dr. Boyce Watkins has a history of abusing black women in this business. Which is, which is why I say he's fake. If he loves black women, why can't he pay the people that he owes? Do you know that a lady actually got evicted because Boyce Watkins owed her $4,000 and would not pay her? That's another video coming, right? But I want to play Corey Holcomb's response to all of this, and then I'm going to come back. Corey, you hear, how did you hear about those comments that the boys made? Well, the, um, the gossip police is everywhere. The gossip yeah. police, you, you don't... You don't duck nothing on this internet. You say something, it's going to get back to somebody, even if you're the type of person who think you can ignore stuff that people bring to you. Because I tell my friends, don't tell me about something bad that somebody said about me on the internet. Um, but it's coming. If you say something, it's coming, especially if you're somebody who people watch. It's, the, the information will be delivered into your ear one way or another. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Right. But I want to I want to say this, Willie. When you called me about everything that was happening, I I kind of stopped you while you was talking, and I said we should do this on air. And the reason I said we should do this on air because I am aware that there are literally a lot of young people in this world who have no idea how to de-escalate things. Mm -hmm. So that is the main reason I said. Yo, let's do this on the air. Because that's what I said, right? I was like, let's do it yeah. on the air. I think it'll be good for the culture. I mean, yeah. we all we all are old enough to de-escalate something. And like I said, I said this when I was talking on the internet. I don't take stuff like that personally because everything we put on the internet belongs to the game. It mm -hmm. belongs to the game. Willie D, any picture of you on the internet? Uh, Mr. Watkins, any picture of you on the internet? Anything we do, like proposing, whatever we do on the internet, it belongs to the game and it'll be dissected by the game. Whether it's good things people say or it's bad things people say, everything we do is going to be dissected. That's why I'm glad we did this like we're doing it right now. So, guys, that is Corey Holcomb's response. And the one thing I like about what Corey Holcomb is saying here <clears throat> is he's stating, listen, we could have handled this offline. And he probably doesn't like boys. In, in real time because he knows that Boyce Watkins is phony. But he said, look, everything you do on the internet, it's a receipt for it, it's out there. But if we're gonna squash this, I want the world to see how we can de-escalate things as black men. And I believe that Corey Holcomb now lives in California, but Dr. Boyce Watkins, at least at some point lived in Chicago. You know, 
a lot of us as black men, and as we're getting older, um, we see that the youth are are watching, and especially these brothers here, who they're much you know much bigger than me, especially Corey and and boys. And so they, they you know they're trying to set the precedent of how young black men can de-escalate things. Here's my only thing that's a problem though. Boyce Watkins is just way too petty. And I know you guys are talking about me being petty, but listen, man, Dr. Boyce Watkins is always going to do stuff like this. Go look at his page. Like he he's so nonchalant and passive aggressive. It's not like, you know, some of these other guys in black YouTube when they don't like you, it's like they really don't like you. But no, Dr. Boyce Watkins spends his time for the most part going after people that he don't want no smoke with. And then after he does it, oh, we can have a conversation about it on my phone. We can call. But at the same time, he's just he's just hella fake, man. He's a phony guy. You know what I'm saying? And this is why Dr. Boyce Watkins is always gonna be into it with somebody because he's he's phony. He's duplicitous. He's not real. Okay? He's not. And he'll say on one end he loves black women. At the same time, he's abusing them. Again, you've never heard Kevin Samuels or anybody say that, hey, for the ladies that were, were that he worked with or collaborated with, he he they have these allegations against him. There's nobody in the black manosphere that have those allegations against them. But the people who say they love black women are always is always guilty of doing the most stuff to them. Isn't that right, boys? And this is what we need to get down. Like, how can you love sisters so much and you're willing to go to war with a comedian? But guess what? You're out here lying. You're out here not telling the truth. You're out here being fake. And as for me, I'm not going to let this go because brothers like Boyce Watkins, if you're going to say you love black women, you should treat them the right way. You should be paying them on time. You shouldn't be taking their domains and you need to be held to that accountable standard, bro, because these women, all of them ain't lying on you because this has been the case about. But you come on here acting like you look, you're a protector of black women and you're only doing it because those are the ladies who buy your stupid course and they spend money with you. But you don't care about them outside of that, in my honest opinion. And that needs to be called out. You think going after Corey Holcomb and making that comment is going to, you know, somehow get you some cool points? No, what will get you some cool points is actually paying the people you said you're going to pay, which you don't. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. It's another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you, Friday, you the bell. We're out. <laughs>